Firms have executed foreign exchange trades using blockchain technology with smart contracts in an attempt to improve efficiencies in foreign exchange trading. Separately, we are aware of financial institutions that have used blockchain to facilitate intraday repo transactions 24 seven, not just in the morning, settling, clearing at night, all day repo transactions are able to go across these blockchains. Parties to, the, parties to these transactions have more flexibility as to when the transactions settle, which in turn has the potential to create additional capital and liquidity efficiency. And blockchain's atomic settlement functionality may serve as another way to achieve an important risk mitigant. Using re repurchase agreements as an example, the repo seller can have confidence that it will receive the specified loan amount in exchange for the collateral it conveys while the repo buyer knows that it will receive exactly the specified collateral. Now these efforts are still in early stages, but I expect that as functionality expands with more currencies, eligible securities, and new products, there will be more participation and growth. Now that isn't to say there aren't risks associated with tokenization and the use of smart contracts. Smart contracts can have bugs. Most of the theft that happens in a crypto world is because the contracts weren't written very well. And they also have other potential cyber vulnerabilities. And instant settlement raises its own risk. People like this idea of instant settlement, but it does have risk, typically fraud risk. The thing with settlement is once it's settled, it's gone. So if you and I do a transaction and it takes two seconds and it settles, and then you say, oh, that was a mistake, too late. That's the, that's the power of settlement. There's no undoing it. And so once you do this instant atomic kind of settlement, it's over, it's done. There's no fixing it. So I look forward to seeing what private sector participants come up with potentially to enhance the way traditional financial transactions are conducted. Tokenization and AI are just a few of the innovations that may ultimately come to play a prominent role in banking and for that matter, finance, and more broadly in the economy. I could just as easily have talked today about Web3, privacy things, quantum computing. All of these are innovations that will have their champions who make claims about how their innovation will change the world. And I think it's important to view such claims critically because they may not change it in a good way. But it's equally important to challenge the doubters who insist that these innovations are much ado about nothing or that they will end in disaster. The world will change and we should encourage innovations that show promise for benefiting society, including the financial services sector.